And people are particularly stupid today. I can't talk to any more of them. People are particularly stupid today. I can't talk to any more of them. How would I describe Michelle Girard? Um, opinionated. Uh, very specific about what he likes. Um, Good-hearted. He means well. Excuse me. And there's a phone call for you. And if I'm to fetch you like a dog, I'd like a cookie and a raise. Thanks for the peach. The description for Michelle originally, I think they were looking for someone much older. I want to say 60. Um, and then they didn't find, apparently, what they were looking for. So... Um, a friend of a friend thought of me for the part, and it was actually my first audition in L.A. And when I read it, it felt very much it was something I could do well. But after the audition, I didn't hear anything for two weeks. And I was like, hmm, all right, I guess I was wrong. So I called the person who booked the appointment, and he called, and he said, no, 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 no we loved him. Uh, he's going to come back and have an audition and a call back. But yeah, I, I made him what was my vision to uh, a French person coming to America with all of their specific ways that they want to bring from their own country, but they're in a new culture. So sometimes there's a little clash. And um, I thought that was an interesting um, character. My favorite moments for him, there are many, uh, or favorite lines. One line that I really really thought was funny. People don't mention that line to me, but I think it's a really, really funny line because uh, it's so inappropriate. There was an old lady, I think it's season one, who uh, came to the end and uh, she said, excuse me, sir, do you know where I could find the best antiques? And uh, Michelle's response was at your house, I'd guess. Oh, excuse me, sir. Can you tell me where we can find the best antiques? At your house, I'd guess. And I just thought it was so funny because no one would say that in their right mind. Um, but in an episode, I had a lot of fun. Obviously, the episode of the dogs, but um, the Price is Right episode when he goes to L.A. and he got veneers and Botox. And I don't know. I thought it was really funny. I got Botox. Ow. Dr. Wu. Oh, she's a genius. Everyone goes there. And look, I got them done by the same guy who does Nick Lachey. How was it to work with Lauren? Well, first of all, we became friends very quickly. And I think it shows because we're friends in the show, but we have a love and hate relationship. But it's easier to do when you actually love someone. Uh, and to this day, we're friends. So that's probably one of my best um, takeaway from the show is the friendships that I've created with Lauren, with Kelly Bishop, with Melissa. Um, you know, those friendships are for life, and that I'm very grateful for that. How meaningful the show is for people. How the show has brought family to watch together. How the show have helped uh, people going through tough times. Um, and moms and daughters who have said, oh, this is our quality time together, this is our time together. Um, the show meant a lot for people, and... Uh, it was meaningful, and I think that's uh, that's a blessing for an actor to have impacted people in that way. And uh, anywhere I go in the world, the reaction is the same. So I'm grateful for that. Oh, I haven't told you the most amazing part yet. You got your boobs done by the same guy who did Pamela Anderson? No, though I did meet him at the Coffee Bean. Why do I think people love Gilmore Girls so much? The writing, the writing is so exquisite. Um, it is not a cynical show. Uh, it is a show with a lot of heart. And also, you know, it's a show about family. But family, your real family, but your extended family, your friends that are becoming your family, the town, the people of the town that are your, your family. So it's really very much about family and being there for each other. And I think, uh, especially now, <laughs> in a time where um, people need comfort, um, I think people still resonate with the show for that. It's a, it's a show from the heart, the quality of the writing. Uh, it's touching, it's funny. And all of these really unique characters coming together, which is, again, another example of families. You know, we are a bunch of eclectic people coming together, connected by the same DNA, um, and we're making it work.
And so I think that's the connection. I don't know. Yeah. Where do I think Michelle is up to now? Probably uh, pissed at the kids that are running around and screaming in the house. <laughs> On the verge of a nervous breakdown. Wanting to move back to Paris. <laughs> questioning his life choices. Um, I don't know. Yeah, probably along those lines. 